Civilian areas remain in the sights of Ukraine's army in the country's east, with residential parts of Donetsk and Lugansk being hit on a daily basis. Kiev says it's only targeting rebel fighters. The outskirts of the regional hub, Donetsk, have come under violent shelling once again. Paula Slear travelled there for us. We're here in Kaliminsky, where a short time ago, a rocket hit this building. As you can see, the fire brigade is still here. The roof of this cultural centre is still in flames and the firemen here seem to have the situation under control. But there are parts of the roof that are still falling down, as you can hear. Here is a car where three people have died and their bodies are badly burnt inside. Some of the smoke still coming out of the car. We're not far from the building where the rocket hit and all around here there are glass windows that have completely shattered. There is nothing on the ground that remains. The whole front of the building has been destroyed and there are people that have now come out to see what's happened. We're hearing from the soldiers that there were around six to seven hits at the same time. One of them has not exploded so they're waiting now for reinforcements to come and disarm it. But they're trying to keep the residents away. As you can see this is a residential apartment that was hit. People here are still in a state of shock. It's only about half an hour since the rockets hit. Paul Islia, RT, Kaliningsky, Eastern Ukraine. The fiercest fighting is currently being reported in the town of Ilovaisk in the Donetsk region. Ukraine's National Guard was surrounded there by anti-government militias. Now, uh, these pictures are from the town. They've been posted online by the National Guard, who reportedly suffered serious losses. Local resistance fighters have claimed today that they have retaken control of that strategic town which houses a railway hub. Now, that, however, hasn't been confirmed by Kiev. And the fighting in Ilovaisk has prompted a strong reaction from the National Guard commanders. This is what one of them posted on his Facebook page. He claims that the fighters trapped in the town have been lied to and abandoned by the generals in Kiev. He also appoints the blame to the fact that he claims the National Guard is now in the pocket of the country's Minister of Defence and the head of the military operation. And these are scenes from central Kiev, where hundreds have gathered in front of the presidential administration building. And they're venting their anger over what they call government inaction amid the violence in Ilovais. And they're demanding the president orders an immediate pullout from the town to save the lives of fighters who have been trapped there. The crowds also shouted slogans calling for the country's defence minister to be sacked.